Good morning. So we are at a fishing village in Penang. It's around 7 a.m. No, it's yeah, it's almost 7 a.m. So we are waiting for the fishermen to bring in their fresh catch of the day. We have no idea what's gonna come in, but yeah, we're pretty excited. We're gonna grab some fish home. So let's see let's see what we get today. To kill time we thought that we look for own seafood. So we start digging and then we found some beautiful plants. Fresh. Can I get fresher than this? And um, it's free as well. That's the best part of it. It's free. You don't have to pay money for this. And yeah, we can have some stir fried clam. Here he comes, the most awaited man. So this is the fishmonger with our fresh seafood. Here it goes. Okay, this, the thing is like um, there are different, a lot of different varieties of fish. You just have to come in and see what they have and grab your fish. Yeah. <laughs> just check this out. And it, that's like a mini competition takes place. Like I think you have to very quick to grab the fish that you want. So we're looking for this big boy. I think most probably we're gonna get this fish. It's huge. Like you, know, you can feed the whole big family. Um, there are different sizes of fish. Like we have the small one, the medium one, the big one as well. But the, the big ones are lesser, they have only a couple of big fishes. But you also have prawns, squid, crab as well. So like the whole seafood family is here. Okay, yeah, we got we might we got the fish, so that's weight. It's around 6.3. Yeah, that's a pretty big boy. Alright, pretty excited. We're gonna take this fish and yum. This is pretty awesome. One, four, three. Big fish. Is that? I think this is trap fin. Yeah, this is trap fin. So we brought because the place, the fishing place there, they don't uh, cut fish for you. Even you have to bring your own plastic bag and all that. Okay, so um, they don't cut the fish there for you. So we brought it to a market where they for for little fee they nicely slice the fish for us. So the plan, originally we thought that we we're gonna cut out the fish, scale it, and then we're gonna barbecue the whole fish, like you know, the whole huge fish we barbecued. But then um, we decided that um, we're gonna cook it three different style. So the head we're gonna use it for uh, fish curry, so fish head curry, and then the body, right? We're gonna make it fish sambal, and then um, some pears. I think maybe more weight on the fish sambal. Just a little pot of uh, asam dust. Yeah. And these guys are really skillful. I mean, look at how they are cutting the fish. There's two person, one person to uh, remove the scale of the, of the fish. And the other person, uh, he's the expert. He does all the uh, like chopping, cutting of the fish. And this is a lot of work. I'm pretty sure their bait is um, sharp as well. It goes. To be honest, I really enjoy watching him um, cut the fish. I also realized the the size of the fish, each piece is like very precise as well. Nicely done. Enjoy watching how he does it. Mix funny Greek spice. Yeah. So oil, dump that in. Now here it goes the onion. Then uh, that's the curry leaf. I think all these um oh yeah, here comes the ginger. Slice the ginger. You can also even like um chop the ginger as well like into tiny pieces. But uh, we just slice the ginger. Uh, depending on how uh, you wanna put it in. Then garlic. So this thing has to be like nicely cooked. Like you saute everything nicely cooked. Yeah, so it smells. Wonderful. 
to hit this. That's lemongrass. There goes the chili. Green chili, I'm pretty sure any color is fine. That's the eggplant, cabbageen. So nice stir. I think it really has to cook. Slicing some tomatoes. Here it goes. We also like chop the tomatoes as well the tiny pieces so it will disintegrate into the curry. But we like to eat the tomatoes. So yeah, so we just um, make it a big pages. So stir stir, so this thing really has to nicely um, cook. Here it goes. See? Really nicely done. Wow. A very pleasant smell as well. Comes in the curry powder. So this is the um, fish curry powder. So this is tamarind pulp with water so you just have to like really thoroughly mix it this is like you know the masala powder just nicely stir it now it smells much better than just now the masala really gives a wonderful smell the aroma Here goes, so this is the tamarind juice like we did a couple of minutes ago. We're just pour in the tamarind juice. And the tamarind juice um, gives uh, the sourness for the curry. So it's sort of a very important element in the curry. We're waiting for the time where they put they're gonna put in the fish head. Yeah, just um, more tamarind goes in. Okay, so we transferred the um, from the pan to a pot. So here it goes the fish head. Boom! Another one goes in. Because this is from the one um, huge fish that we got just now. That's it. Here comes one more. Oh, this is yum. The fish roll. Alright then, so the fish is fried. I mean, we fried one of fish. We're going to show you this three piece, but there's a lot of fish is already fried. And then this for the fish sambal. Here you go, oil. The next thing we're going to put in is um, something which is very important the palachan, which is the shrimp paste. It's something very essential in relation to him. It has a very wonderful smell. I mean, some people hate the smell, but I think just not putting this is not mixed with dish, not complete. This thing adds a lot of flavor. Mm, it smells good. And then goes in the paste, the chili paste for the sambal. Sambal is just a spicy paste, yeah. So the oil and the sambal is going to be cooked. I think the blachang already, the shrimp is already disintegrated. So it's all this going to be being cooked. Yeah, here it goes. So this is the best part of it. Check this out. So beautiful. See. So it takes some time to cook the sambal. Like you know, it's like a maybe a 20 minutes process. Yes, you have to really slowly cook the sambal and oh, give it a stir as well. Okay. So this is just yum. That's this dish is done complete. Very straightforward. We're back with the fish curry. Tomato goes in. This is it. The fish curry is like almost there. The fish are all nicely cooked. Okra. If you want the okra to be more cooked, right, just have to put it in slightly more longer, make it cook. But um, we like we like the crunchness, so yeah. And yep, yeah, this is it's there. So that's um, mint, chili, fresh chili. There you go, beautifully, nicely garnished. That's it then. So our fish curry is fish head curry is ready. Done. We have done the first, there, this is the first one done, the fish sambal is done. So we're going to go for our third dish of the day. 
So this is Asam Pedas, which is a, this is a popular dish in Indonesia as well as in Malaysia. Who is the creator of this dish? I have no idea. It still stands to be debated. Asam that we're making is a thick one, but there's also another style of it which is um, very diluted, watery. I think both are equally good. It just tastes very different from each other. Here you go, chili paste, oil. We have to cook, in, cook this with the oil. So this is the mint. Vietnamese coriander, Vietnamese mint. It's also known as daun kasum. Here you go, torch ginger flower. Okay. Try juice goes in. The smell is amazing. Yeah, just, just have to give a gentle stir. Boom. Okay, the fish is going in. This fish is yellowish because it's marinated. You don't have to marinate. Marinate your fish. Just put the fresh fish in. Done. That's it. Such a simple but absolutely delicious dish. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, the fish nicely cooked. It didn't take long for the fish to be cooked because the fishmonger told us that because the fish flesh seems thick, so he asked us to cook it longer. But it was fine. It didn't take us that long. Nicely done. Wow, I'm waiting for my plate. Check, check the bubble out. And goes in the okra. That's it. Just this is the finishing part of the whole dish. Tomato goes in. Then the flour, torch ginger flour. That's it. The whole dish is complete. I just want to share this footage with you, so we noticed the cat, he just went in and then uh, took a piece of fish, I'm literally he stole it but you know, who cares, it's a cat. And he's looking for the right spot to jump because there's all water that a bit flooded and he did manage to find the right spot. Alright then, have a fantastic 2019, hope all your wishes and dreams come true and all the best and um, thanks for following our journey and keep on following our journey and um, see you in the next, take care. Here goes the cat, meow.